All right. Uh, hello, everyone. It's me. Welcome uh, back. Yeah, today I want to show you how to replace the valve cover gasket on the 2013 RDX. So yeah, let's get started. So first of all, we're gonna remove this uh, engine cover right here and uh, put it up the side. Uh, intake manifold. Intake manifolds right here. This assembly. There's a. Uh, um, vacuum line right here there's the brake vacuum brake booster vacuum line right here we we'll remove those and then there's an, the back here and there's a breather hose we we'll remove those also and uh, this uh, connector right here we, we may remove it to get some uh, some clearance and then this uh, breather hose here go to the, the airbox tube so it just removes those also and just removes the, the airbox like uh, unclipped this uh, clip right here then there's one in the back here okay those lift it up then uh, lift it up and then pull back oh just pull straight up then there's a five and a half millimeter or you can use a fill-up to get that uh, screw off then you can take the intake the all the airbox uh, assembly off, the, just the top on. Okay, let's get started. So, I'm gonna remove this uh, vacuum right here. Just use the plier and pull the clip out. And cut a ton in the, the hole so it's just breaking. Because sometimes it's very sticky, so. Turn it side by side to break it loose and just dry it out. There you go. Then, same thing with the rear uh, vacuum hose right here. Doing the same thing. Move the clips out and then just pull it out. Then, the bottom one here, pull the clips out. Then, same thing. This is Move back and forth to break loose. Then uh, you can pull it out. Too. Then there's a connector right here. Just move that so you get more clearance to work on. For for the perch valve solenoid. That. Then you can take these clips off too. So just okay, it's clear there. And disconnect, disconnect to here. Pull the tap here and then push it out. Let's see. Push the clip. Easy out of hand to pull it out. Wiggle, wiggle. There you go. And then the back one here, just pull it straight out. Sometimes it's pretty tight, so just be patient. Those disconnected. Then uh, the five and a half millimeter uh, through here for the clamp uh, for the airbox tube. So I'm gonna take that off. Okay, got that loose. And then these two clips remove. Let me just pull it out. Okay. 
then uh, don't forget to disconnect this uh, map sensor up here. Yeah, and box out. Next, I'm gonna remove this uh, little funnel right here. The two black uh, plastic clip right here. Just use a flathead screwdriver and you can pry it up and then uh, move it out of the way so that we can have uh, more uh, space to work on. Then you can just pull this funnel off uh, from this uh, rubber connection right here. Just pull it out. Okay, now next plan would be remove the top cover right here with all the 10 millimeter around the top part. I mean you can use power tool or just use the regular hand tool if you don't have power tool. Either way works. I just use it to save uh, time. So if you take out a 10 millimeter off and put it to the side. Okay, you get all the 10 millimeter uh, for the covers removed. Sometimes it's sticky, you can lift it by hand. It's use a flat head screwdriver and pry it on one of the edge of the cover. Now it'll come out. Okay, you got the cover come out, remove. And then check for the gasket on here, making sure that it's in place. If it doesn't, just put it back in place. Next, we'll see all the 12 millimeter down here for the intake manifold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's nine total. So let's remove those. I mean, you can use hand tool or power tool. Uh, if it's uh, available, if you don't, just use a 12 millimeters socket and range and ratchet range, and then you can uh, do it too. Okay, you got all the bolt removed. Oops, I'm making sure you don't drop it in there. Okay, here we are, all the bowls. And then we can, there's a connector for the throttle um, body actuator in the front here, just right here. Just disconnect that connector. Just by pressing on it, on the clips, and then you can. Pull it out. So it's disconnected. And then there's another um, vacuum line, vacuum hose down here, where's um, the perch valve solenoid connected down here. So just disconnect this one. Just take the clamp off. Pull the clamp up and then uh, take the, the holes off. Got to wiggle it with the plier so that it's break loose. Uh, it's break it loose so that you can pull it up e easily. Just pull it straight up, okay? Just disconnect it. Then this connector right here for this this solenoid just disconnected also. Okay. Then it's loose. The manifold is uh, loose now. Then we can pull the stray up and then uh, swing it to the side where the intake now intake uh, air filter is. Um, you can pull it straight up. It's all loose now. So I just use this hand and this hand on both sides. Let's pull it straight up. And then, and then just swing it to the side and let 
the rest on the you know, on on the intake tube right here and the battery. So here you go. Making sure that you cover this uh, intake manifold tube so it doesn't uh, drop anything in there. Okay. Next, I'm gonna disconnect the 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 spark plug coil uh, wire harness. So just put on the clips and uh, pull it out. Okay, then we have this uh, connector for the, the pressure switch. Let's remove those so that we have uh, more slack, more, more space to, uh, to take a valve cover, valve cover off the uh, lower. We got that. And then that's the clips right here for the wire harness. Just pull that up too. And then on the other side right here, just do the same thing. Just pull that clip off. Then you can kind of pull the wire harness back a little like this. Okay. Then next we're gonna take the the spark plug coil with the ten millimeter on the top. Ten millimeter socket and a ratchet wrench. Okay, you got a 10 millimeter nut uh, for the coil over. Remove. Then we pull the, the coil over out. First one. Pull it straight up and now uh, it's came out. It's come out. So three for the front, then we're gonna remove these 10 millimeter uh, bowl for the valve cover uh, assembly. One, two, three, then two uh, in the front here. One, and then two. And those are 10 millimeter, so just use a 10 millimeter socket. And just pull it straight out and you pay attention to it. That's a short one and a long one. So there's three long one, then two short one. There you go. That's the valve cover gasket bowl. And then use a flathead screwdriver and put it at the edge of the valve cover and bright it up. Okay. Then just use two hands to pull it out. Kind of one hand to kind of lift the, the wire harness up and then slide the valve cover off with the, the other hand. Slide it toward the, the back of the vehicle. Here you go. That's your front valve cover removed. Then these are the, the bowl hole. Right. One, two, three, four, and five. So you see all the oil on it. It's leaking because that's the, the valve cover seal down here. It doesn't seal uh, properly. So there you go. That's how you remove the front valve cover. Yeah, valve cover assembly. Doing similar to the rear one, and 
we're gonna we will replace this uh, back cover seal and the spark plug tube seal right here okay this back cover seal and then spark, uh, spark plug tube seal all three in the front and three in the rear okay the front head it's balls and just wipe it off with the rag the sharp rag or the towel so that the oil doesn't trip down to the side making sure that it's clean also when you put the, the new gasket on now we get to the real one same thing we're gonna remove the, the spark plug coil and uh, the wire harness like um, uh, just just disconnect this wire harness just push on the, the clips and then pull the wire harness out something here just push the, the wire harness clip. Here, click and then pull it out. Set in here. Okay, we got those. Now we're gonna remove this 10 millimeter for the uh, spark plug coil, coil with the 10 millimeter uh, wrench. So just break it loose. Bubble coil out. Right there, out. Wrap the spark plug coil over and then pull it out. And then last one over here. Alright, so we got the coil removed, then the wire harness. There's one ten here, and then uh, Another ten on on this side. You can see it. Um, yes, yeah, right here. So you see that there? Right there. So it's one on this side, and then one on this side. Two ten millimeter. Let's remove those. First one, then the other one over here. Okay, got the other one removed. Next, we're gonna remove the 10 millimeter bowl for the valve cover. So one, two, three, and then two in the rear. So it's one on this side, then the other one on this side. So there's five total. So just remove those. So those three, pay attention to it. There's the long one and shorter one. But uh, yeah, the real one, the three front here is a short one. Then I believe the two real one are the longer one. So gotta pay attention to them. So let's break loose this one. No, 
that's the long one. And then this one over here. Oh, there you go. I got it. Remove the side harness here, unclipped, and then uh, the wire harness here for the pressure switch sensor. Unplug those one, two, and three. There's three of them total. We remove the wire harness, the ball right here, the 10 millimeter, and uh, the round right here. So when you remove those two, it gives you a little more slack for this wire, wire harness right here. Uh, so it's easier to. Uh, pull out uh, the valve cover. So let's go ahead and uh, remove those two. One here. That's for the wire harness. So you see it's more slack on the wire harness than the 10 millimeter round right there. So 10 millimeter bowl for the round. So you see, it's, you can lift it up a little more. Find more space to uh, pull out a, a valve cover. Okay, so you have those uh, two uh, bowls removed. So you can kind of like lift the wire harness up a little bit right here. Let's pull it up so you get more uh, clearance to remove the, the rear valve cover. Alright, let's uh, go ahead and uh, remove the val rear valve cover now. And then we're gonna use the flat head screwdriver uh, to pry up the at the edge of the valve cover. So just lift it up. You see it's, it's loose up. Two hands to uh, remove the valve cover. Uh, one hand reach into the back of the valve cover. And then uh, we're gonna lift it up. And at the same time turning it. So it's got to like lift up and turn the taller opposite way with two hand motion so that we can take the, the valve cover off uh, that way. Get a valve cover uh, removed, and here's the, the old gasket gets stuck in it. Just remove it. So here's your gasket. And then these are the the valve cover uh, bolt hole. So two in the back here, and then three in the front here. And then we're gonna replace a new gasket with a new uh, spatula tube. Uh, seal also. Okay, let's uh, move on and uh, replace this seal and then uh, we're gonna put everything uh, back on. So we got the new uh, valve cover gasket and a new spark plug tube seal. So we're gonna uh, replace though and put it on, uh, remove, the, we're going to remove the old one from the valve cover and then we're gonna put these uh, new seal and gasket in. Okay, uh, to remove the spark plug tube seal, we're gonna use a, a black head, a flat head screwdriver and uh, a hammer so that when we stick it in at the edge, on the edge of the, the seal with the screwdriver and then we tap it. So the screwdriver is like sticking down um, like that and then we're gonna pry it up seal up and it should come out easy see the seals come out we do in the same way with the, the rest of the, the seal two
three. Okay, that's how you remove the, the square plug tube seal to install it. To install it, we're gonna spray some uh, WD-40 around the gasket. First, we're gonna use some WD-40 sprays on the seal and around uh, the seal hole. Then we're gonna put the seal on, and we use the hammer, um, slightly tap on on both sides of the the seal so that the seal like settle in uh, flush with the, the base right here. If you have a seal installer tool, it's easier or you can use a socket and use the flat side of the socket uh, to hammer the, the seal in. Just do it at a different spot so that the seal go in like evenly. When you hear that solid sound, ding, and then you know that the seal is uh, is bottom out, and that's where you stop. You don't want to go too much and may damage the seal. See, the seal is uh, fully installed. And then it's just, it's just it flush with the, the base right here so you know that the seal is good so just double check that it doesn't have any tearing or anything it's look good so let's uh, install the rest of them and uh, that, that's it that's how you uh, replace the spark plug tube seal so let's go ahead and uh, reinstall all the new seal then uh, keep going with the work so that we can uh, put put the, the valve cover back on so just pretty much you do and Hit it at different spot like 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 3 o'clock, like 12, 3, 6, and 9 o'clock spot. That way you know that uh, it's, it's even uh, when, when the seal is driving down. Okay, we got the new sparkler seal installed, uh, sparkler tube seal installed back on. Then uh, we're gonna install the new uh, valve cover gasket on. So if you notice, there's a the new gasket. Just um, it's only going one way, so pretty much it's easy to put it on. And you notice this knot right here, the rubber knot right here on the rubber lips. Let's go on the the spot right here. You see the kind of like curved out. That's where it's, it's lined up. For. So just run it along to making sure that the, the seal is uh, fully seated. Okay, the new seal install. Making sure that you, you give it you put some pressure on the seal so that it fully seated it on the, on the bottom. Yeah, that's it, that's how you replace uh, the spark plug tube seal and the valve cover gasket seal. Let's go ahead and do the other one uh, so that we can uh, put it back on. Okay, uh, we have a uh, new gasket and the new spark plug tube uh, seal install and if you pay attention the one in the front is the one uh, 
it, it, it is the back one is the, has a bigger gasket so if you see the different side the bigger one is for the back valve cover and the front one is the one with the oil uh, cap on and that has the smaller gasket you know this gasket right here is smaller compared to the real one it's bigger so just pay attention to that okay all right it's time to uh, put back the the, the valve cover so before you do that you see these uh, um, seal right here the old Honda bond seal just clean them off with the razor blade so that we have and then we put the, some new uh, Honda bond gasket on to, to make it seals better so it doesn't leak oil. That one. And the front spot, right? And this front spot also. And then that one. Same here. Uh, same thing in the back. There's the, the corner right here. And the one behind it there. So we're making sure to just clean the corner bone up. Okay, we have the gasket and uh, we have the, the new gasket and the new spark plug tube seal installed. So let uh, then uh, the surface here is clean and the back one here is all clean. So let's uh, install the, the valve cover back on.